The three words I would use to describe Roxanne, passionate, creative, and a right-on sister. That's more than three words, but I don't care. Roxanne was the first photographer that was invited backstage when the dress was still being pinned. Nobody saw that side of the fashion industry before. There was an urgency to it, there was a quickness to it, there was getting ready to it, and there was a glamour to it. Before Roxanne, people weren't really exploring it. She was in many ways the first backstage photographer. So it's really her town, her landscape. When I look at that genre of photography, she's the only photographer that really has a reach that goes deeper than just reporting. It's her moments in time that makes her very singular and unique in the photography space. She did this amazing work. She did this, all these pictures for years and years and years. And she covered the backstage in such an amazing way. Roxanne has this brilliant way of capturing and quintessentializing the fashion world. I have a photo of Salvador Dali kissing a woman's hand, and it's those moments that are just classic and very voyeuristic because these are people at a dinner table. The style, edge, glamour, idiosyncrasy of the fashion world is kind of distilled in her photography. She has a deep understanding of what fashion is. She has a deep understanding of all the designers. She knows them all. She's got a wonderfully distinctive look. She looks a certain way and she never changed. I'm paying homage to her by wearing black. So Roxanne always wears black, always rocks a red lip. And I like that. I think that's very much describes what kind of person you're dealing with. She's very consistent. She carved a path for a style of photography that never existed before. Her life revolves around photography, and she loves fashion. She's just born to do what she does. Her work is important because, drum roll, it's good.